argument of this log base 3, and how do I know? So, in other words, what am I taking the log base 3 of? Is it the x or the x plus 5 thirds, and how do I know? Okay, I gave you two choices. How many of you want to vote towards the x? All right, how many of you want to vote towards the x plus 5 thirds? Okay, all of those of you who voted for the x, why do you think it's just the x? What is your clue that tells you it's just the x? No, what the x? I mean, it's right here. It's something in this. That the addition sign is not it. For those of you who voted for the other, yeah. So those of you who voted for, I'm just taking log base three of x. What is it that makes you think that's all there is to it? I stop there, and that's what I'm taking the log of. Because they separated the log of x to the eight out from. No, 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 no. Stop looking over here. From here, what tells you? The reason I'm asking this is later on when you are given this and you have to decide, you need to be able to look at this and say, this tells me something. Because there's no parentheses around it? That's it. In order for me to take the log of this whole thing, there would have to be parentheses around it. So the fact that there are no parentheses means my logarithm stops right there. That's the only thing I'm taking the log of. This 5 thirds goes with the other logarithm. Now, you kind of knew that because of where we came from. But if this is all you're given and you have to work backwards to get back to this, that's the thing you have to notice. Now, here is the third comment. Webwork has no way for you to type in log base 3. So the way they write the answers is they say this answer looks like a log base 3 of x plus b log base 3 of y. And you're supposed to tell it what a is and what b is. What's a? Eight. Eight. And what's B? Five thirds. Five thirds. So that one was easy. Yes. Huh. All right. What about this one? I'm going to let you work on this one by yourself for a little while. See how it goes. And figure out if you all came in late. Let's see. Brenda, I saw coming in. Taylor? says that I can have a natural log of something minus a natural log of something else, yes? Mm -hmm. What should be the first something that goes in there? The x to the sixth times the square root of x minus one. Some of you lost the moments along the way. What can go in here? The denominator. It must have parentheses around it. Otherwise, as we were speaking about before, this would be the natural log of just the first thing. And that 5 would not be part of the argument. <coughs> Can I go any further with this piece? Does it break up more? No. Because what I have in here has a subtraction sign, there's no rule that allows me to change subtraction to anything. So this piece is here and it keeps following along. What about this piece? Can I do anything more to it? Okay, what's the big deal that's going on in this argument? Multiplication. So multiplication, what was that? The product rule says that I have the natural log of something plus the natural log of something else, and then I still have minus the natural log of 3x minus 5. What's going to go in this first spot? The natural log of what? X to the sixth. What goes in the second spot? Square root of X minus one. Is this piece done? No, why not? Still has an exponent. The power rule lets me put that exponent out front. So I have six times the natural log of X. Is this piece done? No, why not? That square root is what? The same thing as an exponent of one half. 
So I can go straight to plus one half times the natural log of, this must have parentheses, x minus one. And then I still have this <laughs> minus the natural log of three x plus five. Now for wet work, it's going to tell you this is a times the natural log of x plus b times the natural log of x minus one plus c times the natural log of 3x plus 5. And you're supposed to tell me what a is. What's a? 6. What's b? 1 half. And what's c? Oh, yes. Oh, it's supposed to be minus. Yeah, I did what you guys have been doing. Pluses and minuses get switched. All right. So c is what? Negative 1. Because here it says minus a single natural log of 3x minus 5. Here it says plus some number. In order to make this a minus, then z would have to be negative 1. Make sense? That's something to watch for because that's one of the ones that always people always fall for. The negative gets lost in there. I know it's coming. Now we're going to go the other direction. We're going to condense. Now let me warn you about condensing. You always have to condense from left to right. You take the first two, put them together, then take that answer and put it together with the next one, and then take that answer and put it together with the next one. You cannot condense from right to left. You end up with a wrong answer often. Just a warning. Now just like with are expanding. In expanding, the rules allowed us to go from one to two, not from one to a whole bunch. In condensing, the rules allow us go, to go from two to one, and then we can take that one and put it together with another one and make that a single logarithm until we get rid of all our logarithms. But before I start putting things together, there's something I need to do first. Any ideas of what I ought to do first? I need to take care of those powers because in all of my putting together, none of the rules had coefficients on my logarithms that were not 1. So this is x squared plus 1, and this is 5 times the log of x minus 1. So here's why it's important to realize what the logarithms are being taken of. This is why I emphasize this is only the logarithm of x. That 5 is multiplying this next logarithm so that 5 will be able to go up and become a power. It's not uncommon for people to make that mistake, and that's why they emphasized you have to have parentheses like you see later on. What am I going to get when I take care of all these numbers that are like coefficients and make them into powers? What will I have? log of x to the third <laughs> minus log of x squared plus 1 to the fifth plus log of x minus 1 to the fifth. All right. That works. <coughs> now what? Yes, I can take care of these first two logarithms and put them together. The two logarithms are subtracted, so when I put them together, I only have one logarithm, L-O-G, and I'm going to have division in my argument. What's going to go with the numerator of my division problem? X cubed. What's going to go in my denominator? X squared plus 1 to the fifth. Notice, only one logarithm. There's not a log on top and a log on bottom. That's one of the most common mistakes that people make. And what else am I missing? I've only taken care of these two pieces. <coughs> and as you heard writ had written on your paper, things cannot disappear and reappear. So what do I need to put right here? Plus log of x minus 1 to the fifth. Now I